Hey, it's Tony with the latest rock news. If you're a rock or metal fan, chances are you've heard at least something about the feud that's been going on between Slipknot's Corey Taylor and Machine Gun Kelly. In case you need a concise explanation of what the heck is going on, we've got you covered. While it may appear that Kelly started the drama unprovoked earlier this month when he dissed Slipknot during his set at Riot Fest, the saga publicly started in February of this year with an interview that Taylor did. While speaking with Cutter's Rockcast, Taylor indirectly referenced Kelly's change in musical direction. They were discussing genres and trends, and Taylor said, I am the worst old fogey dude shaking his cane ever, and I hate everything. I hate all new rock for the most part. The artist who failed in one genre and decided to go rock. And I think he knows who he is, but that's another story. Cut to September and MGK threw shade at not just Corey Taylor, but Slipknot as a whole from the stage at Riot Fest, where both acts were performing. Hey, you want to know what I'm really happy that I'm not doing? Being 50 50 years old, wearing a fucking weird mask on a fucking stage. Fucking shit. The news that MGK dissed Slipknot on stage at Riot Fest went viral the following Monday, September 20th, and MGK was getting irritated by all the headlines. Very odd that when an artist talks shit and I respond, I'm the bad guy, MGK initially wrote. He followed the tweet up later that day, stating that Taylor had recorded a verse for his album Tickets to My Downfall that he didn't end up using. He accused a Slipknot frontman of being bitter over the situation. After Kelly called Taylor bitter, the Slipknot vocalist fired back in a tweet of his own. I don't like people airing private shit like a child, so this is all I'll say. I didn't do the track because I don't like when people try to write for me. I said no to them. So without further ado, hashtag receipts. This is all I'm going to say. The receipts in question were two screenshots from an email conversation that Taylor had with Blink-182's Travis Barker, who collaborated with Kelly on Tickets to My Downfall, as well as his upcoming album, Born With Horns. According to the screenshots, Kelly was a big fan of the verse Taylor had recorded for the album and was stoked and honored that he was going to be on it. He added a couple of notes and requested Taylor sing a few more lines in the voice he used on Slipknot's Psychosocial. Taylor didn't feel he was the right fit for the job and politely declined, wishing Barker and Kelly the best of luck on finding someone else to do the verse instead and offered to help in any other way he could. In response to Taylor's tweet and screenshots, Kelly said, Basically, your verse was really bad. Respectfully. I was just telling you to rewrite it because it was really bad. Respectfully. But let's do a Britney Spears song cover together. During his performance at the Louder Than Life Festival in Louisville, Kentucky on September 25th, MGK was met with a mix of reactions from the members of the crowd. While many expressed support for him, fan-filmed footage showed that there were also a lot of people there who weren't happy with the recent Slipknot slander. Some were booing him, others raised their middle fingers in the air. And all the weird, angry guys, this song's for you, Kelly said before breaking into his song, All I Know. At some point during his set, Kelly was singing on the ground between the stage and the barricade, and a festival attendee seemingly shoved him once he made it over the barricade. MGK, in turn, went after the guy and punched him before security intervened. Before we even covered MGK's Louder Than Life performance on Loudwire, a user on Twitter tagged us in a tweet with a video of the crowd singing along during the set, but come on with the relentlessly booed headline, they wrote. Kelly retweeted the statement himself and added, I don't know why the media lies in their narrative against me all the time, but all I saw was 20,000 amazing fans at the festival singing every word and 20 angry ones. That's the story so far. For continuing coverage of both Machine Gun Kelly and Slipknot, stay tuned to loudwire.com.